What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Market Marauder Show. Be in the market, one trade at a time. If you're new to the Market Marauder Show, it's an investment channel. Helps you to find best deals in the market. If that's something you're interested in. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm promote the videos. All right, so today we're talking about uh, some NFT art projects to watch. Uh, now, NFTs, being non fungible tokens, have definitely grown in popularity uh, over time, but some people may be saying, which ones do I look at? Which ones are popular? Uh, so today I'm going to go on number three that I think are very popular and will continue to grow uh, as time goes on. Two being by the same company. Um, but let's jump into it. First, we have um, MeBits. So, uh, what is MeBits? Uh, characters. MeBits are 20,000 unique 3D uh, voxel characters created by a custom. Uh, generative algorithm then registered on Ethereum blockchain. So they use ERC 721. Uh, the NFT contract that governs ownership uh, is the standard ERC 721 that works with any compatible service or exchange. So you can find these on Rarible. Uh, I think they have some on OpenSea as well. But basically, you can find these on any um, NFT exchange that's available. Uh, so integrated, uh, no fee marketplace. Uh, also include in contract and custom marketplace that supports like con trading of up to 100 uh, MeBits per transaction along with the standard buy um, bid and ask transactions. So these are the different uh, MeBits on here. Uh, they have owners extras uh, so you can add different animations and stuff to your MeBits. Uh, they have the offers on here, so talking about the different deals you can get um, and how you can buy them, some of the popular ones on here. Uh, if we go to this page on here, these are all the ones that are in existence. Uh, so these are different ones you can collect, all from uh, different numbers. If we go on here, the for sale side, uh, we can see the ones that are currently for sale and what people are asking for them. So these are the different ones on here that are currently for sale. But that's MeBits. So make sure you go check out MeBits. Um, out there on the exchanges for NFTs. Next, and probably the most popular one that everyone knows about, um, is uh, CryptoPunks. So CryptoPunks um, is definitely, in my opinion, one of the big ones out there uh, that a, a lot of people talked about. Um, so you can see on here, uh, Mashable, CNBC, the Financial Times, Bloomberg, uh, was basically the one that kind of brought NFTs to the main front. Um, and it's inspiration for the ERC-721 standard that powers most of the digital art and collectibles. They definitely took off like crazy. Um, just how fast and how expensive these became uh, was quite interesting. Uh, but on here, they're still for sale. Uh, so it says overall stats, current lowest price punk available is 14.65 ETH. So that's equivalent to $56,262.45. So definitely quite pricey um, as far as you know uh, buying uh, the punks or the crypto punks is then it says total value of all sales lifetime is 685.26 million so quite a large amount of money has gone into these uh, you can see on here largest sales uh, being this one number 700 um, seven seven thousand eight hundred and four uh, is being sold for seven point five seven million dollars so a lot of money going into these um, and then also with it being nfts you can also uh, they get money for them being sold so definitely a lot of money flowing into these uh, different um, crypto punks so they definitely uh, are starting to hold a lot of value so if you're able to get into them early uh, you may be able to flip them and get you uh, you know a nice little amount of money, but um, I don't know if there are any that are that cheap with the uh, You know lowest one being 14.65 ETH uh, So going on here we can see these are the different types of punks. So you have alien uh, Ape zombie female male uh, and then the attributes on here. You have beanie uh, the ones with the choker pilot helmet um, Tierra uh, orange side uh, buck teeth and so forth and so on so if you're interested in just like figuring out what the different styles of um, them are uh, you can go on here and look at them it also tells you uh, the different numbers it tells you the, the how many that are available the cheapest one uh, which you know they're still quite pretty uh, pricey so I mean on here 28 ETH is still pretty pricey uh, 70 ETH 210 ETH 
Uh, so, I mean, it's still a lot of money uh, for these, but, you know, if you want to get an asset or get something to hold its value, um, I've definitely seen these hold their value uh, quite well. So the last one we'll talk about is called So Rare. Uh, so it's a trading collecting uh, card um, or NFT for football or soccer. Uh, so it's supported by 135 clubs and officially licensed. So, I mean, you can get PSG uh, and some other teams on here. Uh, so we can see uh, they have different players with the different cards on here. Um, so it says one unique, super rare, um, and rare. So then it says you can get 100 per season, 10 per season, or one per season. Uh, so this is the unique one, uh, which i assuming since it's an NFT is one of one, it means you'd be the only person to have it. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then it says you can build and manage your squad. Uh, so I'm assuming you can go and play a different card game uh, based on your squad. So kind of like a card version or a trading um, NFT collecting version of like FIFA or something like that. Go on here, it says your legacy starts now. I haven't signed up. Uh, so going into their Twitter page on here, uh, we can see they actually have one of the cards here made. So it says still got some uh, tweaking to do, but here's a sneak peek preview uh, of a unique. So the unique being the one on there, which is like the one of one. So I think it's pretty cool if they send you the card um, itself. You're kind of the only one that has it. You have a physical copy of it as well as the NFT. So I think that's something cool uh, with it being a one of one. So definitely going to be looking to see uh, how so rare grows, especially considering uh, the popularity of FIFA over the years. Uh, I myself have played some FIFA. So definitely, you know, um, in the United States, soccer really isn't that popular. It's still growing. Uh, but I know overseas, soccer definitely is uh, the lifeblood of a lot of uh, sports enthusiasts over there. So Definitely going to look to see how this uh, so rare can grow and might actually try to get my hands on uh, one of them um, as the company begins to grow. So make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me which NFT projects you guys are watching. Um, I know CryptoPunks may be a little more pricey for a lot of people to jump into, uh, but there are, are other alternatives out there. Also, bear in mind, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to or not to invest into NFTs, just explaining what's out there in the marketplace uh, so that you will be better informed. While you're down there, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm promote the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.